Hello Year 8, welcome back to your Mechanical Forms lessons focusing on Michael Craig Martin. Today we're going to be looking at two different aspects of your Michael Craig Martin tools composition. The first one we're going to be looking at is thinking about adding a variety of pencil crayon techniques to your work. And the reason why I wanted to share this with you, and I've left part of my image here empty and I've left part of my image here empty as well is because I want to talk to you about some of the trickier areas in your pieces of work. So I'm just going to show you the reasons why. So some of the images that we work with for Michael Craig Martin, sometimes the objects overlap and you can't see what's behind them. You can't see the object that's at the back. Sometimes the objects are almost see-through. So today we're going to talk about objects that are see-through and we're going to look at this part of this pencil sharpener. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my pencil crayon and I'm going to apply my pencil crayon using a smooth circular motion and what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about this area possibly with using some tonal shading with my pencil crayon. So to make my dark tone, I'm going to make sure I press on a lot harder with my pencil crayon. And as I move down, it has to become lighter. So I'm going to just move a little bit further down and make it lighter as I go till I reach the bottom. Now, and it might need to come back up and I'll need to go and make it a little bit more intense in here. So now it's quite easy to see from this piece of work that there's an area of my pencil sharpener here that hasn't got any red on it, it hasn't got any pink on it, it's empty space. But we can see where the pencil sharpener is and you should be able to see as well that part of my pliers has some outlines around it and part of my pliers doesn't. Now the first thing I noticed when I looked at the sections that I've just added colour to and they don't have an outline around them, they're, they're not very clear. They can be a little bit fuzzy around the edges, they're not as clear as this image here. And we're going to think back to Michael Craig Martin's work. Now hopefully you should have been able to discuss and you should have been able to think about from seeing his work the fact that he uses lots of really bold lines around his images sometimes if he's got a sculpture and it's out in the open air or it's in a gallery sometimes the ones you might have seen there are things like safety pins there are um, light bulbs there are um, big cafetiers and coffee um, coffee grinders and things that his outlines are really bold, whether that outline is colour or whether it is in one of his paintings where you will notice, or his drawings, where you'll notice that the majority of his outlines are big and heavy and dark. So today we're going to think about the big, heavy and dark aspects of his work. And I'm drawing your attention particularly to this section here because we're going to do something with that section that's a little bit different. So at the moment, I have a pink pencil sharpener, I have a red blade from my pair of scissors and I have an empty white space and I also have a yellow pencil crayon. So in here I'm going to use one of my other techniques, I'm going to use block colour, I'm still going to be using my knowledge and my skills of how to apply my pencil crayon but I'm going to be applying it pressing on with even and equal pressure and I'm going to layer my colour up with the same pressure over the whole space. Now, if I were to leave my piece of work and I wasn't going to add any outlines, from a distance, this area of my work isn't going to stand out. So this is a process we're going to do at the end when everything is coloured in, this process comes later. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our pencil and I know we've practiced lots and lots and lots in keeping our pencil lines nice and faint this time we're going to use our pencil to press on and I'm going to record a line now you should hopefully notice and I'm going to make a little line here normally if I made a line with my pencil it would be quite thin so when I'm making a line today 
there's my thin line. What I'm actually going to start doing is I'm going to go back. I want it to be nice and crisp and neat, but I want to be able to press on harder. Now sometimes I might need to hold my paper to do this. And press on really hard. I'm just going to move this around so we can see. So we've got an image here and I've gone around the shapes. This one I purposely left so you could see afterwards. So I'm not content with just one line. I actually go back and I press on a lot harder. And where my object overlaps, I make sure I show that distinction. Again, going round my shapes. Nice and thick. Remember not to rush. We want this to be really, really neat. We want this to be accurate. I should also add at this point, there will be some area 